Hi, Tammy here for An Accidental Retiree. And today I was going to do a live unboxing of a Teespring box that I got in the mail. But um, I couldn't. And I've tried this a couple times because I ended up rambling. And uh, what I got was this wonderful mug from Curiosity Inc. So I'm really excited about that. It's kind of my favorite YouTube channel. If you haven't been watching um, that channel, make sure you do check out The Potter's House on Curiosity Inc. It's great. Anyway, um, I had wanted to do a live update just kind of to update people on things that were going on. I have this will be my 84th video that I put up, and I have to put them in category categories now and I'm going to delete some of the videos that either weren't seen or I didn't think were really great. I'm going to keep my very first one up because I want people to see the growth that I have done as a YouTuber once this goes on. Um, you know hopefully eventually I'll have many more subscribers because I found out that you cannot go live unless you have 1,000 subscribers today. And uh, YouTube says, oh, but you still can do it on your laptop or um, through an app. Well, I tried an app, couldn't go on. I tried my laptop, which is, this is my Mac Air notebook, and apparently that's not considered a laptop or something. And then they said to link it to the same app that I tried on my phone, so I did. And then finally something came up that said, I couldn't because I don't have a thousand subscribers. And the way you grow your YouTube channel is to go live and do live chats and streams. So, yeah, it's going to be a little hard to do a thousand subscribers, I think, for this person because YouTube is not going to be 100% of my life. And I've already been on a year and I have 53. So if you do the math, maybe when I'm 101, I'll have a thousand. <laughs> and then they'll have up the ante, I'm sure. So... Yeah. So the best I can do are my coffee chats. And I have some coffee here that I've been drinking. It's cold now, but it's my favorite kind of coffee, French pressed. And so it's going to be called Coffee Chats Live. Ha ha. And so then you'll know it's going to be a short one. It'll be a review of things that I've been working on and the week or whatever. And this is kind of the week. I put up a video earlier this week and I was kind of afraid that my address could get out there in that video. So I'm probably going to take it down, which I'm so crying about because it had my dog on it and it was really cute. <laughs> she wanted to be involved and she gave me a little kiss on the cheek and it's so dar darling. But oh well, maybe she'll do that some other time and will survive. And um, so that's not happening. And um, yeah, so it was kind of disappointing that I couldn't do that. Um, I talked to my brother this week. Uh, hopefully he got his package. He knew it was on the way and knew where I sent it and said it was going to be okay. So that's good. Um, and it was a fun chat with him on the phone. Um, I'm looking forward to, I hope I can call him and get a hold of him once, but he um, has some things that go on that he's busy with. And so, you know, he couldn't, he turns off his phone when that occurs. And I am 100% behind him. I'd do the same thing if I were him. So, um, yeah, so that's all good. And, uh, I had probably my final counseling session for a while. Um, I think, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, today's kind of been a rough day, but it might be just simply because things didn't go the way I expected, not so much that. And um, one thing I've learned through this counseling is I have trouble with rejection, and that stems from some things in early childhood and stuff. So, um, you know, and I've got a handle on why it is, and now I'm you know, I've got to just kind of work on how it, make sure it doesn't affect my life anymore, um, as it did. And so, you know, this was a challenge today. I did not give up. I just am finding a different way to do it. And um, 
you know, I'm going to persevere and hopefully I'll eventually grow this channel. I do appreciate appreciate each and one of you that have subscribed and uh, please tell your friends about me and I hope that this channel continues to grow. Um, I'm hoping to have some better content on it soon. Um, I have ideas for scripting content and when I can't do that, when I have my eye surgery, um, I'm hoping I'll have some videos ahead that I'll put up. Um, I have an unboxing I'm going to do. I did an unboxing the other day, so I'll have those um, for you. And um, I will edit them and get those up. Um, there are some hauls, one from Lima Beans, and this one is going to be from Fire Mountain. And um, so those will be going up probably much later. Um, I'm going to work on filming them now and then editing them um, in the future. And the idea being that they'll have a little different, you know, look and so on. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, my writing was coming along. I'm actually writing my brother a letter, helped me get a start on some things for um, some future work. And uh, so I am hoping to get my jewelry that I wanted to do done a little bit today. Um, I have some cleaning kinds of things I have to do and I'm hopefully going to be straightening it out. Um, we have decided that I'm going to buy a dress for my daughter's wedding and she's probably going to be moving pretty soon which I'm going to be sad about not having her around but she was going to be moving anyway because she was getting married this fall. It's just going to be a little earlier but I'm very excited that she's moving forward in her life. I have two grown-up children, and I'm very proud of them. And, um, you know, so, yeah, life is really basically pretty good. Uh, I didn't get as much done today as I wanted to, so it was a frustrating day. So, <sighs> technology, it's always our bugaboo for those of us who are older because, um, you know, and it isn't that we don't understand technology, little young ones. Um, we pretty much grew up with it, and some of us were at the age that these things were designed, and we know that it used to work a little bit better in some ways than it does now. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's not a cool thing. And uh, so, I don't know. And I know probably my... T my uh, my stuff is getting older too. Oh, one thing though that I did get is speaking of technology, I do have an Apple Watch coming. Um, it should be here today or tomorrow. I think I better call on that one. And um, the my husband travels a lot, and if my daughter's gone, I need to, especially with the surgery coming up, because he might have to travel shortly after my surgery. I don't know. And um, Anyway, it's just a good idea so that I can go down into my basement. In case I fall, it will maybe help. I'll have the phone right on me instead of having to carry it, which is sometimes cumbersome when I have things. So, so that's the new thing. And, uh, yeah. It's good coffee. I just love it even if it's cold. <laughs> anyway, um, so... Yeah, that's that's coming. So I'm going to end this little chat. It's just about, we're about eight minutes, nine minutes, and it's been a lot of nothing in particular, but um, yet uh, an update on things. Uh, I had thought maybe this mug was from one of my other favorite channels, um, Kaylee Elise, who did Dark Matters. Kaylee's leaving YouTube, and... Um, I'm very sad to see her go because she was really, really good at what she did, which was a uh, sort of an unsolved mysteries type of channel and oh, really, really good at it. Very thorough. It has inspired me to have a segment on this channel um, that will revolve eventually around Wisconsin mysteries. I'm going to be getting started on that. And... Um, I have a book coming that I will be reading and then researching the particular cases that are mentioned in it from my home state, Wisconsin. There's one similar to it in West Virginia, but it's more of a television type program. I don't know if it actually was televised or what locally, but um, so it won't 
you know, mine is like real low budget. <laughs> but I still think I w will do that because I think that is a really good thing to do. We have learned here in Wisconsin, um, there was a case recently where it really got out there and it probably helped save a young, save a young girl's life. And um, Jamie Kloss, I think you may have heard of her case. Um, so, you know, um, I've always been interested in that sort of thing. And uh, in fact, if I hadn't been a teacher, I had been thinking of becoming a forensic pathologist at the time. I, I literally was taking classes in um, physical anthropology and was thinking I would really like to do this. But the thing is that I decided I liked working with children, which is a totally, and I had had the experience of working with kids through my mom being a teacher and tutoring them. And I realized that was when I was the happiest and I decided to pursue elementary education. And then later on, I got into being a reading specialist after I had my own children. So, um, and I enjoyed that career. I, I think there were other careers I would have chosen perhaps had my father and more encouraging towards them, such as in theater and music, but he was so discouraging and that may have been from his own childhood and experiences that that was the way it was for him and I don't know it was he 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 was a much more damaged soul than I realized and um, much more complicated um, and secretive and just a lot of things um, yet he was a very wonderful person in other areas which is you know unfortunately this other thing kind of outweighs that um, at least right now and it I'm probably the only one in my family that will be able to come to terms with anything positive about him which is kind of really too bad but anyway And it has nothing to do with my brother. <laughs> he doesn't even know about this, and I don't know quite if I'll ever tell him because I just don't know that he needs to know that. You know. And definitely I have to tell him in person if I do decide to share this with him. So, um, Oh, excuse me, I had a little itch there and I had to itch my ear. I hate when people itch or sniff for, you know, like there's this one lady that I watch and she either has a cold all the time or allergies really bad and she's always like dripping and running nose. It's like, wow. <laughs> I feel sorry for her, but at the same time, shoot videos on it. Anyway, I have lots of different weird kind of hauls for you, too. Um, so lots of hauls coming up. Um, I was a naughty girl and shopped, and I got to stop that. But, yeah, some of them are presents for different things, so I'm, I'm okay with that part. Some of them are things I wanted. Mm. So I have to stop that because I have these surgeries coming up, and... Uh, Hopefully our taxes aren't going to be too high. Hopefully I haven't overspent. That's just... I'll figure it out. Anyway, yeah. This this was supposed to be eventually something that might be lucrative, but uh, this YouTube stuff, but I doubt it. <laughs> just like my jewelry making was supposed to be a moneymaker, a little bit of extra cash. So far, not at all. Extra cash out! <laughs> <laughs> nothing in yet but I do make presents now so that's kind of good <laughs> but I don't know how economizing it really is in the long process so I don't know but anyway 
like my husband says sometimes when I get upset about it, I have to do something. I have to have hobbies. And he's right. Or I'd go bunkers. <laughs> so I do appreciate each one of you. I'm so excited that I broke 50 this month. I am looking forward to breaking 100. I thought if I broke 100, I might start looking into getting Teespring things going and uh, developing a logo for the channel and so on. So we'll see. At some point I will do that. But I don't know quite when that point is when I will have enough to be able to do that. So we'll see. Anyway, until next time, please do Subscribe to my channel if you liked this content, and if you liked my video, please like it. And we'll see you soon. And Mazda, do you have anything to say? She's sleeping over there, and I can't move this camera. So, sorry guys. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.